Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. In this video, we're going to dive into the interior of this brand new 2021 Toyota Highlander XSE Edition. If you didn't catch my earlier videos, I did put up a um, an exterior video. Did a little test drive video on it as well. But in this video, we're going to dive inside and talk about all the great features that makes the XSE a nice sporty package and a home run for Toyota. Okay, diving into the driver's side, we'll uh, stop here on the door real quick. So we do have backlit switches for our door locks and our power windows. These four power windows are auto up and auto down. Power mirrors, of course. Brushed aluminum style door handle. I'm sure it's plastic, but it looks nice. And then there's a kind of a silver piece of trim right there. Bottle holders down here in the doors, as well as a speaker down here. Now it does have the JBL audio, I'm sorry, JBL audio system. So you get additional speakers inside. I'll show you those in just a second. Your driver's seat is uh, full power as is the passenger, but the driver has two-way lumbar support. The passenger seat does not. And then the seats themselves are the fast, uh, I'm sorry, soft tech fabric. So kind of a cloth here, and then the soft tech on the outer edge. And then notice the seats are very similar to what you'd see in an, a RAV4 XSE or Camry with the uh, pattern in the middle. Adjustable headrest, adjustable seat belts, uh, side impact airbags for the drivers and front passenger and then down here on the dash switches for your automatic high beams tailgate storage compartment here's where you release your fuel gate your fuel hood release brake and gas where they should be and a footrest down on the floorboards there also dimmer switch for your dash lights right here odometer reset and then this gives you a good look at that uh, carbon fiber style trim on the inside that runs all the way across the front interior of the car. And then they've added some kind of brushed aluminum trim right through here as well. We do have a, a tilting and telescoping steering wheel. It's not power on the Highlander. Let's go ahead and just jump in the driver's seat and see what we can find. Okay, behind the wheel, uh, this is the three-spoke Toyota steering wheel with uh, full leather all the way around. So that's a pretty nice feature to have for sure. On this side, controls for your uh, sound system, your Bluetooth connectivity for your phone, and also voice activation. Center airbag, of course, with the Toyota emblem gloss black trim here. And then over on this side, uh, your cruise control is now fingertip up here versus down on some of the older ones that was down here. Our dynamic uh, cruise control settings, lane departure on and off, and then modes for our sound system, which is up there, of course. On this side, washer wiper controls for front and rear wi uh, wiper. And then over on this side are your headlight controls, including the controls to turn the fog lights on and off and I plan to do an, a light show video on this, um, perhaps this week yet, but probably next week. So there's your gauge cluster with it turned off. I'm just gonna go ahead and start it up so you can see what it looks like when it starts. And then just a quick look at your center stack. So that's an uh, 8.1 inch touchscreen and the XSE does come with dynamic navigation. So we'll dig into that in just a minute. Back over on your instrument cluster. Um, these are kind of a, a chronograph style gauge. I really like them, they look awesome. Um, kind of a gray, black, white. White lettering on a black background. Mechanical gauges and needles. The needles are all white. And then your information centers in the in the middle, which has your outside temperature and your odometer. And then there's a clock up here as well. But all of that information that's in there, you can uh, control it right here on the steering wheel. So you kind of toggle through 
your different settings depending on what you want to control just by using those switches. Turning our attention over to the center stack. So this is the, uh, as I said, 8.1 inch touchscreen. It's the JBL audio system. So it's got a really great uh, sound system, including additional speakers and a subwoofer. And there are some additional speakers right up here. And then there's more speakers there. So a really great sound system. Stop by the dealership, give it a listen, judge for yourself. Uh, it comes with Sirius satellite radio. So you get three months, no extra charge. Also Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, um, Alexa, all that stuff is standard. And then our heating and air conditioning is automatic, front driver, front passenger. Um, electronic rear window and front window defrost. We do have heated uh, front seats. They're not uh, ventilated, but they're heated, just the front driver and the front passenger. Um, vents down here. This is all surrounded by that kind of piano black gloss trim and then that carbon fiber style plastic runs all the way across the dashboard. Looks really really great on this vehicle. Nice looking dashboard. There is a storage shelf right there and then there's an additional one right here and if you want to plug in your smartphone you can run the cords up through there. More charging ports down here so for sure you plenty of options there. There's a storage compartment right here. Your shifter is leather wrapped and leather on the top and that brushed aluminum and then you have two cup holders here um, with adjustments, spring-loaded adjustments. Um, drive modes are down here for sport, eco, and normal and you can either look down to switch those or if you go back up to the gauge cluster you'll notice right now it says drive mode sport and the bar down there is red if I toggle there to white is normal and then I go to the eco it's actually blue I don't know why they make it blue seems like green would be the color um, and then here's our adjustments for our um, off-road driving, sand, mud, snow, dirt, normal. So you can toggle through those. And when you toggle through those, up here on the dash, you see it says rock and dirt, mud and sand, and then back to normal for normal driving on the belt line. Um, parking brake here, traction control, uh, your snow mode, your downhill mode. Um, you can set up your auto automatic start as part of your remote keyless entry so you can turn that on and off if you don't want that to work and then you also have uh, your armrest plenty of room for two arms even skinny ones like mine but then underneath here is where you'll find the QI wireless charging system so you can just drop your smartphone down there if you have that type of a phone and then underneath there more storage a little storage tray so all of that kind of stuff is right down underneath that armrest, but it, it does just open up like that. It does not pop up like a lot of armrests do. No big deal, it's just different. Um, passenger assist grip right there, lighted vanity mirrors, uh, sliding visors. And as we head up here, We've got these switches right here are for our power moonroof to open and close there. There's our safety connect. If you need help push that, we'll get you the help you need. Overhead dome lights, which are LED. And then a place right here for your sunglasses. And then a mirror there so you can check on the kiddos in the back seat. Automatic dimming mirror for your rear view mirror. And um, home link. Uh, garage door openers built right in there as well. Here's a quick look at the moonroof. And of course it's glass, see-through, tilts, slides, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and jump in the back seat and see what we can find there. Okay, diving into the back seat on the door, of course power windows, um, that brushed aluminum door handle, but they do add a shade here, retractable shade for both of your back uh, doors. So that's kind of nice for the kiddos. Place to put your bottles of water. 
speaker right there in the door. One of the things I like is the step going in here. It's a really wide, easy to get in, so it's going to be easy for the kids to jump in and out. Um, the seats in the back, so you've got the captain's chairs. This is a seven passenger setup on these ones. Uh, and the seats, boy, they do a bunch of stuff. First of all, if you want to drop it down, you can just pull this like so, and it makes it easy for the kiddos to get in and out of the back seat. But these seats also fold down, so once you've got it like that, there's a handle right here. And you can go ahead and push that down, and that seat folds down much nicer. All right. There are anchors on the backs of the seats for the child safety seats. So you just pull those out and plug in. The armrests on both of the seats are there as such. These seats also recline, so let me go ahead and just jump in here. And so your back seat, uh, second row passengers can get way back. Notice there's uh, map pockets on the backs of both seats. Plenty of leg room, that front seat's probably three quarters of the way back, so plenty of leg room. Another pocket right there. Um, temperature settings for your rear seat. So there, it's a three zone uh, climate control system, um, which is really, really nice. Then you also have power ports down there for plugging in your electronic stuff. Cup holders right here in the center. Passenger assist grips, vents, overhead vents for the heating and air conditioning. Notice the uh, dome lights are centered kind of more over the back seat than it is over the front seat. So your back seat passengers have some really nice lighting options. Here's a quick look up front. The driver's compartment. Really nice looking interior on this. Of course, super high quality. Let's go ahead and look in the back seat and see what we can find there. Okay, before we uh, jump in the tailgate, I just want to show off this back seat a little bit. So this back seat here uh, is a three passenger seat with adjustable headrests. And then there's also uh, cup holders on both sides in the back. So the little kids are gonna be fine. Overhead vents. There's also a light right there, a reading light for the back seat passengers. So plenty of comfort and convenience features for the little kids. Short guys like me, 5'7", should fit back there no problem. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in the tailgate and see what we can find there. Okay, so here in the back, I've got those seats folded up like so. Notice your rear seats are 40%, 60%. And then this one has the all-weather floor mats, so that's the liner you see there. These seats can be dropped down individually. So if I go ahead and just hit this handle right here, I can go ahead drop that seat down like so that gives me a ton of cargo room for sure um, these seats up here you can fold flat as well so definitely could throw an air mattress in there and do an overnight trip notice these uh, headrests they also drop down by themselves when I bring those seats down um, the only thing I don't like about these seats I shouldn't say the only thing but one of the things I don't like is to get them back up you have to reach in here so I'm bending at the, the waist and I've got to be able to pull that back up not too hard for me, but it might be difficult for somebody who is smaller in stature. This is just a exterior vent. Cargo net can be put right here. You can get a cargo uh, cover as well. And then here's your uh, JBL subwoofer, part of the JBL sub uh, sound system. And notice underneath here, go ahead and bring that up. This is where we've got some extra storage underneath there. And then this one does have the first aid kit, the Toyota first aid kit. That's like a $25 option if you like it. Go ahead and order it. Um, and your tools here to be able to change your tires out. And if you do go with the cargo cover, you can actually store it right here. And it kind of comes all the way over and connects back on this side. So there is a place to buy it, to store the cargo cover. If that's a feature you end up adding to the vehicle. Now the XSE does not come with uh, trailer towing hitch um, that is extra and the tailgate on this uh, is power actuated right here and it does have the kick style tailgate so you can put your foot under there I don't have it activated right now 
and then there are speakers up here in the door but notice there's no lighting in the door so not your best tailgate door um, and you can pull it down right here but it's just easier to go ahead and tap the button and let it do its deal all by itself okay so that's the uh, interior overview of this brand new 2021 Toyota Highlander XSE Ruby Flare Pearl Metallic beautiful car great color okay if you like the video go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you want more videos like this then subscribe and turn on the notifications as I mentioned I did do an exterior also did a test drive and we'll be doing a light show video as well hey thanks much for watching have a great day